What's up guys and the moment has finally arrived, Samsung X AMD is official. Samsung has officially announced its Exynos 2100 chip that will be inside the international Galaxy S21 devices and in that event they have confirmed the main thing that we were discussing for months and that is the AMD GPU finally coming to Samsung's next flagship phone. And of course unsurprisingly more Galaxy S21 leaks with the first look of the Phantom Titanium model of the S21. An ultra. But first, let's talk about Samsung X AMD collaboration. AMD GPU is finally coming to next Galaxy flagship and Samsung confirmed it right on the stage with the Exynos 2100 announcement. Now why would they do that? It's like saying that Galaxy S21 is great, it's got Exynos 2100, but wait for Galaxy S22, it's gonna have even better CPU. It's almost like they want you to be excited for what's coming in the second half of this year. Exynos 2100 is definitely not the absolute pinnacle of Samsung's power. AMD with its GPU power combined with the most efficient 5 nanometer Samsung processor, the best of both worlds, it's going to be epic. Now the next flagship could very well be the Galaxy Z Fold 3 or it could actually be the Note 21 Ultra. During the CES announcement they showed off this clip where we have a phone that is clearly a Galaxy Note smartphone if you look at the shape and it even has a S Pen if you look really closely and the most shocking thing is that there's no punch hole. Giving it a under screen camera phone look, Samsung as we already know they are working day and night to make this happen. You can also notice that the phone is not completely flat on the table because of that big camera bump. Honestly it's crazy that they went out of their way to create something like this for this teaser. We also have a Galaxy Zero kind of smartphone with a completely curved display. It looks amazing. Now again this trailer doesn't confirm the existence of the Note 21 Ultra but it definitely does say something if Samsung indeed brings the under display camera with the Note 21 Ultra, this is how it's gonna look. Future is indeed very exciting but let's talk about the present and that is the Exynos 2100 chip and uh, AMD actually helped Samsung fine tune this processor to perform at its absolute limits. This is Samsung's second chip to come with 5 nanometer process. Uh, the first chip is actually the Exynos 1080 but it's gonna be super efficient. According to Samsung we will see 10% performance increase and about 20% decrease in the power consumption. So compared to Exynos 990, it's gonna run quite a lot cooler, especially under heavy gaming load. Exynos 2100 has the highest clock speed of any Cortex-X1 core and that is at 2.9 GHz. Now in comparison to Exynos 990, we have about 30% better performance, 18% in single core and up to 23% in multi-core. Now when it comes to GPU, we have Mali G78 with 14 cores graphic. Samsung claims that we have up to 40% better graphics performance, even more of a monumental jump compared to the CPU. Samsung further installed an advanced multi-IP governor aka Amigo, this is gonna help save a lot of power. Everything about this chip is amazing but I'm still looking forward to see how the Melee G78 will perform in gaming compared to the Adreno GPU inside the Snapdragon 888. We also have some big jumps in terms of NPU performance, faster operation for app launch and other stuff and of course brand new ISP that's gonna help massively when it comes to camera performance so you can expect big improvements in HDR, big improvements in video color science and uh, also most importantly night mode. Exynos 2100 can handle six camera images from six individual lenses all at the same time which is pretty damn amazing. As far as the video is concerned we have 4k 120fps recording and it's the only chip on the market with AVI decoder for 8k video playback so you get that full HDR experience even at that high resolution. And lastly they talk about 5G and how it's integrated so it's definitely gonna take uh, less of a power compared to a separate 5G modem. The way it's looking Samsung could very well very well ditch Qualcomm for good and to take this big step they have joined hands with AMD the future is epic. Now in case you missed the previous video we talked about the unboxing experience of the Galaxy S21 devices thanks to the official box image leak and of course now we know what accessories are coming. You can check that video out the link will be in the description. Finally just a quick look at the phantom titanium color of the S21 Ultra. The back of the phone actually looks gray and uh, definitely has some kind of matte finish. I feel like all Galaxy S21 models will have some sort of matte finish but with this particular model the different thing 
thing is its camera bump. So we have some kind of a carbon fiber kind of pattern on that camera bump. It's uh, definitely looking different from other models. Based on the colors that we have seen so far, I think the Galaxy S21 Ultra in Phantom Silver looks the best, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, definitely do subscribe for all the content that is coming. I thank you so much for watching this video. As always, see you in the next one.